it's Brian here. So today I'm going to be installing a Giotto desk in a 2014 F-150 crew cab with the Lariat trim package. I had a Mobotron and there is a review on this and the problem is this is a pretty sketchy thing and the parts break off. It's just really not that well made. So it's for sale if somebody's interested in it. Giotto is a much higher quality product and it's going to install here and here. And let's get it unboxed and get started. All right, so I bought this on uh, either Amazon or eBay. I can't really remember which. It showed up pretty quickly. It includes a very heavy duty 3 16 inch steel bracket with a post. And then it includes the desk itself. So it's got this really nice cable lock system that it uses. We'll just set this over here. And then it comes with this really heavy duty post. Here are all the parts. There's the base, the arm, the, the support, the laptop bracket, and it's a little light on instructions. Um, they don't really say much, but this is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna slide the seat back. Well, this comes off and then I just kind of gotta work this out. There's a little push to a little push button type fitting so you just pull on it and it'll come off and then that looks like a 916 I'm just gonna run it all the way out and we're gonna do the same on the other side That one doesn't need to come all the way out. We just need to be able to get under here. All right. get this started and I'm going to do that by hand. Now that started by hand. I'm going to go ahead and finish it with the tool.
see if this fits back in here. Oh, it does. Kind of. Alright. Well, that's pretty nice. So it adjusts by way of these positioning points. So we'll come back to that in a minute. First, we're going to get this position down on here. So let me go find the bolt that goes with it. These look like quarter 20 bolts, and they're according to the instructions, one goes in each side. So we'll go ahead and get these in here. This is a really nice little Allen wrench that's included. tight this would have been better if it had been turned so the trick to this is to just pry this a little bit and that shifts this part which gives you the clearance you need and then you can crank crank down on this and lock it in That's nice and sturdy. So now we need to just drop this in here. And it looks like this just goes in here. There's two more locks. This is really well made. I don't think it's worth $300. I think this would be pretty easy to make now that I've seen one, but it's still a really, it's, it's a well-made tool, so I don't necessarily mind the premium pricing. All right, so you will need a screwdriver, a flat tip to get this out of here. Just insert it and twist and pry a little bit and it should pop right off. The way this goes together, just pop that on there, and then you just push this C ring in. And it's easier on your fingers if you use something to do the pushing. prevents that from coming out. I'll go around to the other side to finish my adjustments.
first thing I want to do is I want to set my height. And I want this kind of high. All right. So now that I have my height set, I can look at this, and this will be about right. So now I want this on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw it in. And I'm kind of cheating by just spinning this. Because I want to get it all the way in. You can pull these out and you can get adjust them. So I want that there and then I want this out of the way. So all I do is pull this and put it up there. And that allows me to put my computer right there. So I'm going to sit kind of off to the side in the seat so that you guys can see what I see. So this gives you the ability to slide this over and work with it at the door. That is a nice feature. It also gives you the ability to rotate this around. That's probably where I'll use it because that positions my laptop screen right there. And then I'm going to have a wireless keyboard that I keep in the seat back pocket that I use. And I may lower it down a little bit. I haven't made my mind up on it. The beauty is it's very adjustable. Um, and that's kind of where I think it needs to be right now. So, uh, there are some little foot pads that go with it that go up here. And there is some adjustments that need to be done to this. And it's got some nice little warning labels here. So I will very likely tilt it a little bit, like that. So that gives this a really sturdy um, grip right here, and that's kind of the perfect place for it. So I do have some spare parts. And there's an extra one of these, so I'll just throw it in here. that's about it. So that gives me what I need to be able to work in here without a whole lot of hassle. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.